You've had a lot of success out here and you seem to enjoy coming out to Abu Dhabi. Now it must be quite nice not having to sort of gear up for a golf tournament. It is, it's great. Um, you're right, I've, I've won Abu Dhabi Golf Championship twice now. Um, and I'm really here for anything other than golf. So this is, this is great, be here for the Formula One race, see the conclusion of this uh, championship. I'm um, a guest of the ADTA this week um, and catch up with a lot of friends at uh, Mubadla and, and other uh, companies, Aldar as well. So it's, it's fun for me. You know, I've seen, um, I've seen Yas when there was nothing there. So to actually, uh, I missed last year's race. To actually be at the race now is, is going to be a brilliant weekend. So do you follow the F1 then? I do. You know, I, I like my motorsports. Um, I'm lucky if I get to one race a year. You know, my, my schedule is so busy and traveling around the globe, it's very difficult to, uh, to get to races. Um, it's something that's so different from what I do. I mean, I, I travel around in a pretty good circus, but this is, is a whole nother level. Um, and the spectacle of an F1 race is something to behold, um, something I quite enjoy because it's so extreme. So, you know, the, the schedule I had this year afforded me the op opportunity to come here in between tournaments, so I took it and uh, I'm glad I'm here. You're coming on you, in January for the championship again. Seems like a good, good way to start the year for you usually. Yeah, it's a great way to start the year. I, I think, you know, all the guys now um, see that the, the sort of golf swing that we have as a you know, an important way, we've got to crack off the tour, you know, uh, you know, running. I mean, you just get going to, into some serious events. We've got uh, uh, a great field, um, I know, for 2011. We've now got a new sponsor with HSBC. Uh, this tournament goes from strength to strength. Every year we come back and, and it's better, big, better and bigger than it was before. Um, and golf in the UAE is growing. You know, we've now got tremendous golf courses out here like Yas Links. Um, so it's... It's big stuff, it's important stuff. I think we've got a new event in Bahrain as well the week after, and it's just, it's nice now. It's, you know, as golf grows, I think the, the Middle East and the golf is gonna be a, a very much a, uh, you know, a, an important element to, to golf, global golf. You know, as, as we'll see what happens with the world as sort of tour golf, the PGA Tour and the European Tour with their struggles. Maybe we end up with a world tour and maybe the Middle East will be the center of that world tour. A few of the players, you know, diverting back to uh, the European tour. I mean, well, what, what do you, what's the real motivation behind that, do you think? It's difficult to know. I mean, I've, uh, you know, when you look at uh, sort of Lee Westwood and Rory McIlroy announcing that they're going to stay in Europe, you have to remember these guys will play an awful lot of golf still in the States with, uh, with their world ranking and, and invites. Uh, you have to expect them to play 11, 12 times in the US, uh, so, you know, it's really only you know three, four events fewer than they need for to keep their uh, to meet their the PGA Tour minimum. And you know, with Westwood with a family back home, completely understandable. Rory's uh, you know he's, he's got dogs, he's got a house, he's got uh, you know a, a girlfriend who's still finishing up school. I can understand that as well. Um, he's not turning his back on anything. It's just uh, he hasn't taken up full membership. So, you know, I think people are sort of jumping on his decision and, and maybe sort of, you know, tweaking his wording slightly. Um, you know, these guys are world golfers. They still go over and, and play all around the globe. So the fact they don't take a tour card in the US, I don't think they should, um, they should cut too much, cut, get, or get too much flack because of it. You were very diplomatic about uh, not being left out of the Ryder Cup selection. I mean, you, you followed that up with commendable sixth at the HSBC Champions Trophy. I mean, uh, has that sort of spurred you on to kind of really show that you, you should have been a part of that potentially? Um, I can't say that, can I? <laughs> oh, go on. Uh, no, you know, it, it was... Uh, it was disappointing to be left out of the team. It was out of my control, simple as that. Um, uh, you know, and, uh, I don't need, uh, I, I've got uh, more than enough motivation in me. I've not, uh, I've not sort of channeled that in any way. I, I don't have any, um, you know, there's no anger after that. I mean, it's, you know, everybody's friends on tour. I'm glad the Europeans won. And I desperately wanted to be a part of it. And I wasn't simple as that. I, it will give me a lot more uh, motivation to make the team next time round. Simple as that. Lock it up. You know, if I can lock it up within six months of the qualification starting, I'll be a very happy man. Because um, it was tough missing out on it. And 
you know, I maybe got a new new perspective sitting at. I wasn't at home at the time, but but uh, watching it on TV and taking it in, um, you know, realised how much I missed that competition. I missed the sort of battle and the and the fierce uh, sort of rivalry that there is on the golf course and then the fun they have off of it, you know, the, the parties afterwards. I missed all of that, so I don't want to miss another one.